In NetSuite, you have the ability to define a price level for your item record types. Updating the item price level is a great benefit because it will define the rate based off of the item's price level. If you want to upload a long list of item records, then you can use our classic Smart Client Edition to upload price levels for all of your item records in mass. This Smart Client application is a legacy addition uh, when it comes to our Excel integration. We plan to migrate this feature onto our Cloud Extent application in the near future. In today's demo, I'll be showing you how to upload price levels in an efficient way when uploading and using the Smart Client Classic Edition. So when using Smart Client, there's a lot of different use cases you can use Smart Client for, but for today's demo, I'm actually gonna use Smart Client to update my base price level for all my inventory item records. So if I were to go back into NetSuite, I do have a list of items. I'll just say the first couple items that we have right here from internal ID 6897 all the way to 6908. I'm gonna update the base price level. And once I update the base price level, if there are any discounts associated to all of the other base price level or other price levels, it's gonna automatically calculate it and update it within the item record itself. So now, once I, we have an understanding of what this demo is, I'm gonna go into Smart Client and I'm gonna load my Smart Client template. But before I actually make any changes or updates to the inventory item record for the base price level, I'm gonna go to Add Records and show you what kind of fields are added to the inventory item fields when it comes to updating your price levels. So inventory item, I'm gonna go into this triangle, click on Edit and you're gonna jump into this template designer. So the first step of this designer is to add in your header fields. Uh, when it comes to updating your item record, you really just need the item ID. You can also add in other standard fields or other custom fields uh, to your liking, but for demo purpose, I'm just gonna add the item ID. So the next is gonna be your sub list. And if we're gonna be updating price levels, we're just gonna go to pricing matrix, select that, click next. And as you can see, I already have my price levels, the currency, the price, and the quantity. I left discount out because there's not really any discounts you normally apply to base price. So I'm gonna leave that field out there or leave it out of the template. And when it comes to the results layout, I'm gonna keep it as standard. And you're gonna see how it would look like when I load the template onto the worksheet. And then when it comes to the replace existing lines when updating, this is actually a pro tip. So it's a key tip if you want to just update one specific base price level or a specific price level, you can uncheck this, but by default, this is always gonna be checked. But for this particular use case, if I uncheck this and I just only wanna update the base price level for all of my item records, it will only update that base price level, but also allow you to update other uh, price levels if it was on a different template. So if I were to load this template, you can see that it loaded all the different price levels. Uh, but it's actually five different uh, rows that we have loaded. So the first five rows right here is gonna be for one particular item. And the next five is gonna be for another item as well. But what I'm gonna be doing here, because I'm only updating my base price, I'm gonna select base price and I'm gonna repeat the, the base price throughout the rows. And then when it comes to the currency, I'm gonna repeat it as USA, but I'm just gonna do it for the first five because or actually I'm gonna repeat the currency throughout the rows. And then for the price, I'm actually just gonna do 1000 just for the demo of it. And just gonna repeat it. But first let's actually do this. I'm gonna copy the internal ID that I have for my particular items. And these IDs right here are gonna be the, the list of items I'm trying to be updating. So if I go back in here, you can see those IDs are referring to these particular items that I referenced earlier. Going back to Smart Client, I have my internal IDs. If I just, if I want, I can actually just delete the rows that I don't need to update. So I'm just gonna go and delete those rows. And once I have all of my information for the price level, the internal ID of the item records, as well as the currency and the price, if I were to go to update all, it's gonna update the price to 1000 for all of my items. So if I go back into NetSuite, all of the base prices will be updated to 1000. So now if I do an update all, and if I were to go back into NetSuite and refresh my page, 
you can see that the base price for all of these items here has been updated to 1000 so if I want to drill down into one of these items and show you go to sales and pricing the base price is a thousand but also the discount or default discount has been applied to the corporate and the employee price discounts for each of those individual uh, price levels as well and if you want to update any of the other price levels you all you would need to do here is just go back to price level change it and if I want to add in corporate discounts or if I want to add in another price level just say online pricing I can change that and I can change this online pricing to let's just say 1500 just so we can see the difference when it, when it comes to the updating I'll repeat it and then I hit update all and once this is update all if I go back into the record that we have open you can see that the online price is blank right now but if I refresh and go back to the sales and pricing tab you can see that the 1500 has been added to the online price price level thank you for watching this video on how to update your price levels when using smart client if you need further support please contact us at support.cloudextend.io